Hello, this is Pastor Michael. And before we begin this Q&A video, I'd like to thank you for listening and remind you that if you find these videos helpful, encouraging, and edifying, to ask you to like and subscribe. Hitting that little bell notification next to the subscribe button will alert you every time we post a new video. And I'd also like to encourage you to comment if you are finding these videos useful. Comment if you have questions or if you have suggestions for future videos. You can also check out our website, reformedfellowshipchurch.com, if you're interested in finding out more in general. Today's question comes from Sarah, who asks, I remember somewhere in the Bible saying that God forgives and forgets our sin. Is that really true? How can God forget anything? Well, that really is a wonderful question, Sarah. We know that God is faithful to forgive. We know this because his word says so. 1 John 1, verse, 1 John 1, chapter 1, verse 9 says that if we confess our sins, that God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And whenever we have a question, we should always go first to God's word because that is how God speaks to us. We ask the question, God, what should I do? Or God, what, what about this or what about that? And we look for him to respond to us but he has already spoken to us, already responded to you and I in his written, revealed word. That's where we go when we have questions like this one. And it's nice to know that God's written, revealed word is all-sufficient, completely inerrant, and that it is unchanging. And the reason we can say that with confidence is because it is breathed out by God, Second Timothy, three tells us that and if it's from god well it's going to be unchanging and inerrant and all sufficient just like god is so god's word that comes from him is just like he is completely sufficient inerrant no mistakes because god doesn't make mistakes and unchanging just like god is because of his word, we also know that in Romans 8, verse 1, we're told that there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ. We also know that Isaiah 43, verse 25 says, I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and remembers your sins no more. In addition, Psalm 103 says that God removes our sins as far as the east is from the west. That is a distance beyond measure. If you started east and heading west, you could never get there. It's an immeasurable amount of distance. The Bible gives us indication that God forgives and forgets our sins. But allow me to clarify what that means. When God says he forgets, it's not what we usually think of as someone forgetting something. God is omniscient. He knows everything. And he forgets nothing. But in a sense, he can choose to not remember something. In our own relationships, we can choose to remember when someone hurts us and what they've done against us. Or we can choose to forget it. When we choose to forgive someone, we put what they did against us out of our minds. You don't actually forget it, and it's not that we're unable to recall it, but we choose to overlook it. When God forgives us, he chooses to overlook our sin. Hebrews 10, verses 14 through 18 say, For by one sacrifice, that's Jesus, he has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. That's those that he saves. The Holy Spirit also testifies to us about this. First he says, This is the covenant I will make with them after that time, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts and I will write them on their minds. And then he adds, This sin, their sin, and lawless acts, I will remember no more. And where these have been forgiven, sacrifice for sin is no longer necessary. You see, when we're forgiven, when we're saved, our sins are completely forgiven. 
This is what the writer of Hebrews is talking about, that Jesus made a one-time sacrifice that completely removes our sins and puts it on him, on Christ. And it takes Christ's righteousness and puts it on us. That is how, through Christ and in Christ, not by our works, but by his works, that we are justified or declared righteous before God. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 says, God made him who had no sin, that's Jesus, to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. It's in that way that God forgets our sins. He forgets and forgives the sins of those who trust in him, who by grace alone, through faith alone, and Jesus Christ alone are forgiven. God is truly perfect. Even his forgiveness is perfect. Rather than treating us as our sins deserve, God has shown those who trust in his son Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of their sins. He's shown us unmerited grace, undeserved grace and mercy. What an exceedingly wonderful thing. Thank you for listening. May God bless you. May his grace and peace be upon you. Take care.